Well, you might have seen that I have two different styles of rebuilds. One where I basically become a director of football and one of a normal style of rebuild where I make all the sign-ins and I pretty much just leave it to Sim, but I, I do everything. However, the one we're going to concentrate on today is the director of football rebuild and how you guys can set your saves up for a director of football FM23 experience. <laughs> What's going on there guys, Kempi here and welcome back to the channel, welcome back today to another Sorta Out SI video and this one is going to be quite a little fun one because I've had a few questions coming through my Discord and through different areas on how I set up the director of football saves where I effectively give the game to a certain manager and let them rebuild a club with a tactic that I plug in and today I'm going to show you guys exactly how that is done right from the very start. And right from the very start is why I'm going to say this does require the in-game editor. So if you don't have the in-game editor, you will not be able to take part in the director of football style of things. I believe it's $5.99, possibly, I think, from Steam. I buy it, obviously, every year for content purposes. But, um, yeah, you can get the in-game editor, I believe, from Steam for around £5.99. That will be required to make the director of football saves. So I'm going to start right from this very nice screen. You can see I'm obviously using the Tato skin. Shout out to the Tato skin. It is absolutely stunning. And then you've got to do is start a new game, just like as you would completely normally. Now, I'm going to just pretty much load in the leagues that I normally load in. Uh, I have a, a game set up for a rebuild, and this is what I load. Uh, and we're going to just start the game up as per usual. Now, obviously, you start the game up as you would normally do for your PC. Uh, however many leagues you would normally have in, just have that many leagues. Don't try and do too much that's capable for your PC in this. Director of Football Save is very, very fun. It's actually, you know, I've got a lot more enjoyment out of doing stuff like this this year because I've mixed up the way you play FM. Obviously, FM is a management game. You pretty much just become a manager of a football team. There's not a lot else you can do. And the thing you can do with the in-game editor of making yourself Director of Football when just, you know, a bit like how Clayt's done his Tottenham rebuild to just allow the game to come with all the weird, wacky scenarios that it does. I mean, like he done with, you know, putting Ardega Johnson in charge of Almira and having, uh, you know, the old Spurs coach as the manager of Spurs and Will Steele as well. And there's a lot you can do. And if you really want to go wild of it, you can have a lot, a lot of fun with this director of football mode. I'm going to let my PC just set the game up and I'll bring you guys back on creating the manager. So just before I show you the next steps, if you can make sure to like the video, subscribe to the channel as well. And also go over to my channel so you can see two of these rebuilds a week over on mine as well as another three tactics two three tactics actually because of the saturday as well there's lots of content going on fm at this part of time of year and you know sticking it to sort out site and coming over to my channel as well is so so helpful the growth has been tremendous on both channels in the last few weeks so if you guys can keep smashing that support around 80 percent of you i think are not subscribed so just go down below subscribe to the channel and help everyone out massively now you can see i've got my standard manager the beautiful Gokwan Givan Proust, um, he's a bit of a, a personal meme of, a meme of mine. Um, we're going to use him as the manager, and today we are going to be using... Who should we use? Should we use uh, Arsenal, because I used Arsenal in the one that we done the other day for uh, Sword Art Aside with Arteta, so we might as well use Arsenal. We'll set this save up exactly like we would a normal save. Everything else is the same. Uh, we'll confirm it, just so it stops bugging out. And uh, we'll get into this. We'll just skip through this bit because everyone knows these screens by now. The game has been out for a very long time. We'll just save that one there as well. So like we did say, you guys will need the in-game editor. It is absolutely key. And as soon as you are in charge, go to this screen and click on the manager that you had. Or if you're going to be bringing in a new manager, say with Arsenal, you wanted to bring in, I don't know, Freddie Lundberg, first man that come into my head. Um, you can bring in Freddie Lundberg. Uh, he's not there. Let's say yes, belong is Freddie Lundberg. Because the save's a bit of a hassle. Um, you literally click this in-game enter the button up here and you can move him to your club as the assistant manager and that will remove Steve Round from the role. Now we're going to be doing it with Mikel Arteta uh, because obviously we want Arteta as the manager. Um, so we'll move him to the club as an assistant manager and that gets Steve Round out. If you want to Steve, re keep Steve Round in, you can make him a coach if you want to, if you would want to go that in depth of it. And then one thing I also do is just uh, edit a few staff details. Now, the one thing I always get worried about is my uh, managers getting poached and especially for sims that I do, I don't want managers going anywhere. So I head over to, what did I click on, staff details um, and then go to staff roles and I make them one as a manager, 
20 as an assistant coach uh, and 10 as a coach. Um, to be fair, normally 10 as a manager as well. We just want them basically being an assistant manager and available to manage and available to coach. But this should stop them from getting poached. So once you've got him as your assistant manager, you can see him in your staff there um, in one of these as the assistant somewhere. There he is, Mikel Arteta, assistant manager. We are the manager now. What you're going to have to do is imagine that assistant manager role is the manager and you head over to responsibilities, head over to staff and delegate everything to Mikel Arteta. Um, so where are we? Mikel, you are doing it all, my friend. Uh, obviously, oh, recruiting directors, you have to sort of not do because that's sort of a big boy job. This is not a Mikel Arteta job um, in terms of staff, to be fair. Normally, you can just sort of set these to who they go to. Uh, it's not the, sort of the biggest deal with staff, which is quite nice. Um, same with contracts. Just make sure you do all of these because you don't want to be having a role in these unless in your director of football saves, you do want to be doing staff improvements, which some of you might want to do. So in that case, just keep this all to yourself and you can hire and fire staff. Another thing, which is completely your choice, if you want to let Mikel Arteta roam free and do all his own transfers, you simply have to just set this um, to, not Edu Gaspar, set this to uh, Mikel Arteta. So he will be in charge of all the negotiating for players in the first team. Hand in income offers, you put that to him as well. However, if you want to do this yourself, make sure you don't do this. Keep this to your bit. If you want to be in charge of the transfers, make a full-on director of football save, then undo them and have these as your responsibility that is quite a fun way to play FM this year. Have yourself in charge of the, of the transfers and the tactics and put Mikel Arteta in charge of everything else. And um, you then can delegate him to do all these bits as well. He'll then lead them out for the game. Um, for tactics, you want to delegate them as well. Uh, head them over there. You want to basically put them in charge of the training because, again, you're not going to have anything to do with that. That is all Mikel Arteta. You are simply a director of football. So you delegate him to as much as you can. Give him the reins of the club and then what you do is you make another manager. If you want to go through and you want to watch what Mikel Arteta does, you'll make Mr. Sim. He is my friend that I, I use to, to watch games because obviously you do want to be able to watch the games, but you can't watch the games as a manager and not take part in them. Again, confused, and I will sim forward to a game so you guys can see what I'm on about. Um, but you basically want to make a second manager as well, Mr. Sim, just someone unemployed who can just pretty much go and sit in the games for you. So when you are in your director of football role, you're going to pretty much now leave everything to Mikel Arteta to go ahead and do his job. I'm going to go forward to the first game of the Premier League season, of course, so I can show you what to do so you can watch the games from the director of football position. Right, so it's match day for Arsenal, a massive game against Aston Villa, and today we're going to show you how you can go and watch this game as a director of football. Now, we've got you as Mr. Sim. This is the man you need to be. You need to go and find this Arsenal game. Uh, if we can go to the Premier League. So that obviously you'll, you'll, you'll understand how you do this. The more and more times you do it, and it'll be less sort of annoying. You literally go to the Premier League, click matches, fixture and schedule, click the versus button, and you will be attending the game against Aston Villa versus Arsenal as the director of football, as Gokken Van Proust, the famous Director of football. Now, with your current manager, your main manager, your director of football, you're going to return from holiday in a week. You're going to just see him ahead and it will kick you back in to being the manager of Mr. Sim. You click spacebar because it's now three o'clock on a Saturday. You're nice and comfy in your seat. And here you are. You're watching Aston Villa Arsenal. You've got absolutely no control of the game. You've got no control over the starting lineup. And it is all, uh, what's his name? Mikel Arteta taking charge against Aston Villa in a 4-3-3 system against Villa. And you, you just get the whole experience. It's beautiful, but you don't have any stress of FM annoying you because of a decision you might have made or didn't make. It is completely out of your hands and it's great fun. Now, we don't want to sit here and watch the whole game, obviously, because that'll be a little bit long. But this is pretty much how you set up the director of football save. Like I said, it adds a completely different dynamic to playing FM. You pretty much become a spectator in the footballing world. Very much how, you know, director of football can be in real life or a manager from the stands. You've been sent away and this is where you're watching from. And you can see Arteta use his tactics. He'll use tactic that he'll want to use. I'll show you, you know, after this game, how you can lock in a tactic that you want Arteta to use in game. Um, that's 
little bit more complicated, but we'll show you that after this game. Arteta's got off to an absolute flyer against Aston Villa, as you might expect, because he's a fantastic manager. We're going to just sim to the end of this game, um, but that is how you do that. You can see obviously there's no overlay. You pretty much sit there and watch football manager as the director of football, and you can make decisions based on how the game goes as Van Proust, you know, after sort of five or six games in, obviously they won that one by a single goal. They won a 2-1, a Gabby Jesus brace. You know, you might get to the end of August a, bit, a little bit soon, might be a little bit, you know, too soon to sack a manager, but you might get to say October, Arteta is not going how you want to. You can sack him and if you want to, you can go into the staff search market and go and find an assistant manager in a legit manner. Um, if we just head to assistant manager, you could go and get, uh, we saw Edgar Davis there, you can go and get Adam Adamos as your assistant manager if you wanted to, if you wanted to play it completely legit in the director of football role. But having the in-game editor does give you, obviously, a few little added bonuses. You want Ancelotti as your manager. Instead, you simply go to Ancelotti and you move to your club as the assistant manager. And again, it will boot out Arteta. And now Ancelotti is your assistant, which is just it's as easy as that. Arteta's gone. We don't have any more. We've got big Carlo, and he's now the manager of Arsenal. It's as simple as that. If you want to make a few changes, that is how you can do it. You can literally sack him if you wanted to, terminate his contract. You could, if it didn't let you because of money, you could go down to it here and terminate the contract there. Now, there's no Carlo Ancelotti. And you know what? We're going to go back to big Mikel Arteta because we feel bad. Uh, I didn't really want to actually remove him. So he's back as the assistant manager is big Mikel. But that is how simple it is to sort of tweak around the, the assistant managers, etc. If you want to make a change, if you want a, a new man in charge. Now, as well, with the tactics, if you want to lock in a tactic of your own, we'll use the uh, magnificent Mikel um, to, uh, you know, lock it in as a tactic. You pretty much load the tactic in here and then when you go on holiday for them games obviously we're now not game for a week but when you go on holiday you simply go on holiday and you have to have use current match tactics ticked and the Kelarte will use the tactics that you have put in place obviously that takes a little bit away from the like I don't know that's sort of a more hands-on director of football in my opinion it's not really the full you know, works of our, a manager doing his shebang. But if you've made a recreation of a manager in real life, an FM you think hasn't quite got it right, sort of how I do the rebuilds, then you can have it like this. You can play a style that you have built. If you're testing a tactic, you can play it in this way. And to be honest, like I said, it just opens up a whole new realm and a whole new way of playing FM. Now, this is my first ever attempt at a how-to video. I hope it went well and I hope I explained everything and I hope you guys enjoy playing as a director football. Make sure to keep an eye out on the comments below because if I've missed anything, I'm sure you guys will let me know. So I head down there every day and just double check. If you can, make sure to like the video, subscribe to what I say, come over to my channel and subscribe over there as well and we'll speak to you next time. Yeah.